Hello. How is everybody doing today? Welcome to Ask a Leader Facebook Live here on USANA United. Let me find myself here and my things. And give me a hello if you're here. <laughs> it's beautiful here today, northern Michigan. We've had a really hot summer compared to normal. Not to compare to all of you. Hey, Debbie, Brian, awesome. Definitely not as hot as Texas up here, but it has felt, <laughs> felt as hot as Texas to us since we're not used to it, for sure. All right. Just need to fix one thing and then we'll get started. There we go. Okay, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, we're gonna be talking about little things that make a big difference in our health, in our business, in our life. So as you're watching, if you think of things that, little things that have made a big difference for you in your business, um, or in living your USANA lifestyle, you can put those um, in those comments and we'll come back to that in a minute. I really love this topic. Um, I think at very first the concept of little things making a big difference was first introduced to me personally through um, the compound effect. So Darren Hardy's compound effect. Loved the book, loved the concept. And then, of course, I've seen that concept in so many things. I am reading a book right now um, about Coach Wooden and his greatest secret. And his greatest secret is the power of little things done well. So if we do little things well, then they will have a big impact on everything in our life. And they really do um, have a huge impact. So one of those... Um, one of the things before we jump into, before we jump into some other specifics around the business is a quote from this book, from Coach Wooden's book on the little things. It's by Rick Warren, uh, a quote from a quote. So he says, we think it's the big things in life that create a leader. No. The big crises in life reveal leadership, but leadership is not built in the big things of life. It's built in the small things of life. That's where integrity shows up, in the small stuff that nobody sees, in the stuff behind the scenes, in the small, unseen, unspectacular choices of life where you do the right thing even though nobody's ever going to see it. I love that part. In the small, unseen, unspectacular choices of life. That to me is what habits are. They are not very spectacular and people don't notice them. People see you walking across the stage at convention or they see the color of your tag at convention. They don't see the little things that it took in getting there or they see you accomplish some great thing or um, you know, talking about weight loss, they see you in this new, healthy, awesome looking body, but you know all the work that went behind it, everything that happened, the daily choices that were necessary to make, that were not easy to make, but that got you where you wanted to be. So little things have a huge, huge impact on our life. So one aspect of this is that 
we can do little things and have a big impact, but it has to be the right things. So imagine you decided, well, I'm going to drink, you know, a Coca-Cola every day. <laughs> well, are you going to have a big impact from that? Yes, it's long term. You might not see it in the first week. You might not see it in the first month, but long term, you'll have an impact. And as we know from much research, drinking a Coca-Cola every day is going to have a negative impact on your health and your life um, versus doing a right thing. So in Coach Wooden's book, he talks about um, little things, but doing them well. So he was a basketball coach for UCLA, the winningest coach, incredible. When you look at the numbers and the statistics of his record, he did incredible things. But he talked about the fundamentals, doing the fundamentals of basketball, but doing them right. So if you're doing a fundamental of shooting, let's say shooting free throws, but you're doing it with poor form, you're doing it in a wrong way, but you're doing it over and over, little habits, you know, 50 of them a day or whatever, it's gonna ingrain the wrong things. So we wanna make sure we're doing the right things for over a long period of time in order to get the results that we really want. So again, these principles, um, Darren Hardy's book, The Compound Effect, um, this book, Coach, Coach Wooden's Greatest Secret, I've seen it in a number of places this concept of I do something small and then it produces big dividends for me later in life. Um, let's look at a couple of other examples. One that I really um, love or that hits home to me is um, washing my face. So, Cell Aviv. Let's talk about what's that, what's a long-term impact from Cell Aviv. So when I wash my face at night, so here's a little window into my life. When I take the time to do the whole entire regimen every night, and this started back with um, when we had Sansei, I, I just take more time getting ready in the evening, getting ready for bed. And because I'm doing that, not only do I brush my teeth, which I do even when I didn't wash my face, but I would brush my teeth now while I'm waiting for, you know, the toner to soak all the way in and dry. Now I take time to floss my teeth. And then while I'm waiting for, you know, the serum to soak in and do its thing, I don't want to rush this beautiful process. Then I do the mouthwash and, you know, I, I just take more time. It creates more peace in that way. And I'm doing more things that are beneficial to my life. It really all starts when I wash my face with a whole regimen at night. I start doing some of these other little things. And maybe even head to get ready for bed just a little bit sooner so that I can have time to do it. So I go to bed a little more restful, a little more peaceful, and not so rushed. Well, what other impact does it have when I'm washing my face every night? Because it's, it's greater impact on my skin than when I just wash my face in the morning. So now I, I feel better. I have more confidence. My skin looks better. And I'm also using this product on a daily basis. I'm having an experience with it. And now it brings more power to when I want to share this experience with someone else. So one little thing, it's a little thing, of washing my face each night. Now, it's not always an easy thing or an easy choice to make. I love it when I do it, but it's not always easy to choose it. But when I do, I see these long-term impact that it has. And now I've been washing my face with the USANA products for you know over 10 years, and I believe it has an impact in, in how I look in my mid 40s. So it's a good thing, and it's a compound effect. Now, I wish that we could like take this little camera and look back and see what would I look like or how would I feel or what impact would this have if I had not done this. I, I wish sometimes that we could see that. Although maybe there's other areas of your life 
other things, you know, where we struggle and I haven't maybe put the work in to do the little things on a daily basis. And so I see that I'm not where I want to be. Maybe you're not at what rank you want to be, or you're not at what weight you want to be, or you're just not in the kind of relationships you want to be in. Well, take time to look and see what are the little things that have brought me here and what little things can I begin doing now, not wait, but begin doing doing now that will set me on a path to be where I do want to be, you know, a month from now, 10 months from now, 10 years from now, rather than waiting. Um, you know, that quote they have about the oak tree, like when's the best time to plant? now today <laughs> you know if you want an oak tree if you want to have a swing in your front yard well it, it's not going to help you to wait another day so figuring out what these little things are and beginning to do them um even i was thinking about what dr ladd talked about yesterday if you haven't watched um his monday mindset and he talked about um coquinone coq10 and taking that and the impact that that has on our health uh, for years to come. I might feel fine now, but if I take that, think of how I'm arming myself, arming my physical body to withstand things, to avoid, well, to help with Alzheimer's and, and other things like that. Um, there's something we can do. So the little things, do them and do them on a daily basis and it will be worth it in the end. Um, Anybody have any, no, there's a few more of you on, anybody have any daily habits or little things that you see in your business or in your USANA lifestyle that have a big impact? You can just put those up there at any time um, so that we can, we can look at what some of those habits are. Um, another one I know for me in building the business, if you've heard of that concept. Let me see if I can pull it up. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's not up here. Um, concept of two a day. I had the song up. How many of you? Give me, give me some love if you remember the two a day follow up will pay. T-W-O. So I was listening to that, jamming out to that um, great little rap yesterday. Um, looks like one of my kids closed out a piece of the computer there. Whoops. <laughs> um, but two a day, what does that do for your business? Um, it does phenomenal things. It's consistency. That's the thing about these habits. It's doing them consistent, consistently, doing the right thing over time will produce results. Now I can say, well, I'm struggling to build my business. I did, you know, two a day or doesn't even matter if it was 10 a day for five days and I didn't see anything happen. My check didn't go up. Well, we're talking about exponential results. So sometimes we don't see something in the daily habit. When I begin exercising, I might actually feel sore and and gain a little bit of weight because I'm building muscle for a little while. But if I keep doing the right thing for the long term, then I'm gonna see the results. So we have to be willing to put it in long term. So two a day, prospecting, connecting with, setting up appointments with two people every day, and then following up with those, and that will produce big dividends in your business if you're willing to be consistent over the long haul. So now you might, someone might be saying, well, that's really hard. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, it's a little thing. It is one of the little crucial things. It's the daily habit. How long does it take to set aside a time to call someone, to text someone, to just say, hey, would you be willing to try this awesome skincare that I've been experiencing. Would you be willing to look at this business? I mean, I'm not gonna go into the details of how to do all of that um, on this video, but by setting aside time to do that, I mean, really we're talking like 10 minutes or less to get those invites going. And then time, you know, that little bit of time each day to follow up. What if you put that into your business? 
Now, I'm just talking about creating a consistency and a long term. Um, when we go to to push and do something, you know, create big growth, then we're going to do, I remember Brian Penrod, man, this is like 10 years ago, talking about um, massive, creating massive momentum. And I can't even remember the numbers, Brian, you probably remember, but it was like, I don't know, 20 people a day or I, it was something like that, 10 to 20 people a day. It was, but to create massive momentum. Here's what I do know from my experience and time in USANA is that if I haven't been doing the daily habits at all, and then I try and jump into this massive momentum and growth of, you know, contacting and presenting to a lot of people every single day so that I can create big growth in a short amount of time. If I haven't been doing the daily habits, it is really hard, it's really frustrating, and it can be very discouraging. However, if I'm doing the daily habits, if I'm doing two a day, building that, now I have a, a funnel of people to talk to, a funnel of people to follow up with. Then when I wanna go into massive momentum, I want to take this thing to another level, and then I'm able to because I have a foundation that's been happening. That is one piece that I think these daily habits do for you and do for me when I'm talking about building my business, when I'm talking about maybe wanting to be healthier, um, you know, if I, and this is not you know, what I want or what's going to happen, but let's say I wanted to do bodybuilding. Well, if I'm going from, you know, chunky to wanting to be a bodybuilder, well, that's a, there's a big gap there. But if every day I'm drinking my water and taking my vitamins and, you know, doing some exercise and eating health, healthy whole foods, if I'm doing all these right things, then I want to do something or run a half marathon or whatever, then the jump is, is so much smaller. And I already have these habits instilled. Now I'm just building off of those habits instead of starting from scratch. I hope that's helpful. I hope that makes sense. Um, these things are really, really important. And I think of especially, you know, I, we're in the middle of summer and up north when we get summer, and you know, we live it to the fullest. We hit the water and the lake and the outside a lot. And so it can be a challenging time, can be very easy, I guess, to set business, to set some of those goals off to the side. But if I can keep just this, these daily habits, these daily pieces going, be so much easier than when we hit convention and after that to build off of that momentum rather than starting from, from zero. So I really encourage you to, um, to establish some routines, a morning routine, an evening routine, you know, the face washing, that's part of my evening routine, um, to set a routine for, for business building, to set a routine for connecting with your team, for working on your, you know, if you have a 28 day challenge Facebook page. I mean, these are like habits and routines that we need to have happen on a daily basis. So think about what those daily habits are, how you can build those into routines where it's just kind of a natural flow and process of what you're doing. And then really bottom line is be consistent with the right things over a long period of time and you will, you will be thrilled with the results that you create in your life. So that is what I have for you today. Um, I hope it's helpful and I would love to hear from you um, more in the comments throughout the rest of the afternoon about how what some of those habits are that have helped you um, to build a consistent business and a consistent USANA lifestyle. Have a wonderful afternoon and we'll see you out there.